For this natural bridal look, I have cleansed, toned and moisturised the skin and applied a hydrating primer which will help the makeup go on smoothly and last all day. I have selected a lightweight, buildable foundation and I'm applying this using a foundation brush. Remember, when matching up your foundation, it should blend in perfectly to the jawline. Apply this evenly to the entire face, not forgetting to include the ears and underneath the jawline. Use nice, light, even strokes. As you can see, this has already started to even out the skin tone. I always like to use a buildable foundation that's not too thick for my natural brides. You can always apply a little more if your client decides she would prefer a little bit more coverage. Just be absolutely certain that the foundation is completely blended into the skin. The next step is to correct and conceal under the eyes. I have chosen a peachy based corrector to balance out any dark circles under the eyes before concealing. Patting in with the ring finger for the lightest touch. I'm now applying a concealer matched to the skin tone over the top. Again, patting in with the ring finger. As you can see, this really lightens and brightens the under eye area. Brides always want to look fresh and well rested on their big day, even if they've had no sleep the night before, so this really is an important step. To set this in place, apply a small amount of translucent powder. just applying this same powder to the eyelid to reduce any oiliness. I'm just taking this opportunity to even out any other areas of redness to the skin, which is often around the nose or on the chin. going to lock this into place using the translucent powder applied with a face powder brush. To warm up the complexion, I'm now adding a light layer of matte bronzer to the entire face, but lightly. You can always add more later on in the makeup process. Taking two different shades of blush, I'm applying the more muted shade to the entire cheek area. Now to add a slightly stronger pop of colour, take your second complementary shade and apply to the apples of the cheeks. Moving on to eyes, 
I'm taking this light neutral shade for the base, a mid-tone to contour and add depth, and a darker shade to line the eyes and add more definition. Apply the base shade over the entire lid and up to the brow bone with a small eyeshadow brush. As you can see, this neutral colour has already brought out our bride's eyes. Taking the mid-tone, apply this to the outer third of the eye. I find creating a C-shape, then filling in the rest helps with placement. Then taking your blending brush, blur the outer edges. Always get your client to look straight ahead so you can check your work and she can see the look building. Next, take your darkest shade and an angled brush and apply a powder eyeliner, blending as you go with your ring finger to keep the look soft. You will see the look starting to come together. To add a bit of light into the eye, choose an iridescent powder and apply to the centre. This step often looks very pretty in photographs and just adds a little bit of something special. To frame the eye and add definition, Choose a long wear gel liner and apply right to the base of the lashes, smudging as you go to keep the look soft. The eyes will really start to pop now. No eye look is complete without mascara, but first, curl the lashes to open up the eye for a more flirty and romantic look. Using a disposable mascara wand and that all-important waterproof mascara, give the lashes a generous coating. I normally like to apply two or three coats. Don't forget to apply to the lower lashes to frame the eyes. You can do so as you did the top or turn the wand upright if that feels more comfortable for you. To finish off the eyes and frame the entire face, take a small angled brush and apply an eyebrow powder. If your bride prefers a more defined look, you can use a pencil. Choosing a complementary tone, apply lip colour using a small lip brush. This allows you to have more precision in your application and build the product if required. To enhance or perfect the shape, you can use a lip liner in a similar shade. To complete the look, I'm taking a highlighter to add a subtle glow to the brow bones. The corner of the eyes. The 
Cupid's bow, down the bridge of the nose, and last but not least, the cheekbones. And there we have it, our natural bridal look.